Hello class, this video should help you with your first assignment in PHP 2, where you have to use a closure to sort some Tampa Bay uh, baseball players, Tampa Bay Rays, and you have to sort on any one of three keys. You have to sort on their position, their player, and their batting order. Well, I've made up a, a similar example here that you could use to help you with that problem. I've made up an array of arrays here. As you can see, each of the subarrays is an associative array with two uh, key value pairs, course and grade. <clears throat> and here's a function that we're going to use, which will contain a closure. The function is called array play, and it takes an argument called a dollar key. Now here's the closure inside. The closure is a function without a name, an anonymous function that is embedded in an, an a external function and can use the variables in the scope of the external function. So in this case, our, our function, our uh, closure here, can use the dollar key variable. But to make that happen, you have to use the use clause here, use dollar key. And this is shown quite nicely on page 405 in your textbook, by the way. And the rest of the code here is going to do a sort. We're going to be sorting. And if you take a look at the uh, description for usort at the top of page 403, you'll see that it does require a um, function that would return 1, minus 1, or 0. And that's how the sorting is uh, taken care of. And we've got that here. But now, the only change I've made is instead of calling the variables $left and $right, I'm using $LT and $RT just to shorten it up a little bit. Keep in mind that your, your closure is actually a, a, a single statement. This is all one statement. So it has to finish up with uh, a semicolon. So that's why this semicolon is required right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sort on either the course or the grade. And I've got it set up here to uh, use the array play function with course as the key. The okay, dollar key will be course when we go to run this. But we can assign the function to a variable name, which is a very interesting thing that you can do in PHP. So dollar com column is going to store this. Now we use usort in that way. To call usort, we're going to sort, this is the name of the array we're going to sort, and we're going to sort it like this, based on the course. So uh, let's see what that looks like when we run it. I've got it going right here in, in Firefox. There it is in Firefox, and as you can see, the grades are ordered alphabetically by course from ethics through the PHP. Now we could change that. I've only got two uh, columns to sort on. You're going to have three to sort on in your uh, assignment. So I could change this to be grade. Save that. Come back here and refresh. Now it's sorted by grade. And it's ascending, just as the alphabetical was ascending. The uh, grades are also ascending from 81 through to 100. Now, if you don't want them in ascending order, you can uh, modify. Uh, there's two things you could do. You could change this, change these, just reverse the less than and greater than, or you could make this a minus 1 and make this a plus 1. I'll save that and refresh. And now I get the grades in decreasing order. And as you can see, we did work out the average of 90.6. Hope that helps. You need to do something similar to that.